17 in that third set. Now controlling the point, Del Potro. And that's not, not just an error from Devalmo, but it's it's a mistimed hit. It's almost as though it's it, it just well it is the first time on the centre court, but by this stage in the match you'd be seeing the bounce off oh, that's beautiful from Del Potro. Talked about little things he can add to his game. I mean a drop shot would be very effective for him. He's uh He's obviously had plenty of chances today. But when you have the sort of foul power, firepower he has and people back off to absorb it, it doesn't need to be anywhere near that good for it to be effective. And if you play a few, I remember a couple of the Spanish guys, they used to play quite a lot of drop shots because if that, if, once you've drawn your opponent closer to the baseline, if you then do hit heavy spin, it makes that a little bit more effective because it's sort of jumping up in their face. Remember Herman Puentes, short Spanish guy, hit an incredible amount of top, top spin, but so many drop shots, he'd be on the baseline and he hit this four and it would just jump up. Very hard to, hard to control, obviously Del Potro didn't have that sort of top spin, but if he hits it hard and deep, possibly even more effective. It's also good as well, Miles, isn't it? If players aren't comfortable at the net, you know, not a lot of the top hundred players defend the net particularly well. So it doesn't have to be a winner. Absolutely. And uh, going back to our very own Tim Henman, how many times did he sort of draw someone in, not with a drop draw shot, but a short up. slice, got them into areas of the court where they're uncomfortable? And after all, that's what tennis is about. It's about making your opponent more uncomfortable than you are what all these top guys do in their own different way. Yeah, Cruise control in that service game from Devarman. But he's yet to break Del Potro's serve and he's actually only lost two points in this second set. The quarter-final spot against the German Daniel Brands.
love the ring. Well, he does his fair share of scampering. Devon, and that's just talking about guys who are not overly comfortable at the front of the court. Not just now, but generally, you're looking at one right there. All right. It's a bit unfair looking at me, Miles, as you were saying that. Star taking his time to challenge. I'm not sure why he felt the need to be as aggressive as he was on that forehand. Been a lot of mysteries out here today and we got a good glimpse of his forehand grip there on the, on the return of serve or for his forehand too and very hard with that grip to, to block it. You always have to be swinging at the ball. Much easier on his backhand side for Devama just to sort of bunt or block, especially on the return of serve. required to hit the volley a really good point from Devarman yeah, showed a little aggression from that forehand side and I wonder if he almost made Del Potro take his eye off the ball because he looked like he was coming forward the old foot stamp fake who else was well known for that Stefanik's not shy to bring that one out Not shy to try many things, is he, Stefanik? Why? Thirty on. Hold your ground. Hit the backhand return. Back cross court. Ask the question. Be nice to be one case where it'd be possibly more interesting to get an interview with the loser if the development goes on just to. How do you think that would go down? What w first question, what were you thinking out there? We'll probably go on and win now, won't we? <laughs> More trademark Del Potro opening the court with the serve. Foreign can go both ways and just too much pace from that forehand wing. Keeping really of the match for Devarman, an unforced error, 264 win on tour for Del Potro. I'm not sure he's had too many as comfortable as that. Wasn't needed to be at his best, but the concern is still there about his left wrist. But he lives to fight another day. Yeah, a bit disappointing from Devarman.